Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. I'm Aiden. And I'm Vince. And today we are starting to do some of our controlled burns for cutbacks here in Central North Carolina. And we had an idea that we wanted to do an experiment and burn some of the thatch from the centipede turf that we have as our main grass species here. So we're gonna burn a nice circle. Uh, we're prepared with a hose, don't worry. And then we're gonna compare how it grows out uh, to the rest that isn't being burned down. My theory is that the patch that we burn is actually going to have more vigor. It's gonna be healthier because it's gonna have more nutrients available. So we're gonna put it to the test. All right, so Aiden is making a circle. I've been watching a lot of witch movies. So I feel like we are, <laughs> we are living the witch dream right now. <laughs> this is so cool. There's gonna be one area where the cats won't bring in grass. <laughs> this grass is so messy at this time of year. It looks really good burnt down. Yeah, it almost looks like mesmerized. Wow. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> this is definitely the man manifestation of me being sick watching endless shows about witches. <laughs> okay, this is kind of an anticlimactic video because it only took like a minute. <laughs> but we're gonna keep an eye on this patch of turf and we'll be sure to give you updates. All right, everybody, I hope that you will subscribe and tune in as we continue our quest for burning. We are gonna start burning here at the native borders. Remember, all of these plants are adapted to burn and they actually grow back with more vigor and they have more access to nutrients. So it's a really good strategy, but you do have to be safe. So I'm gonna put some links in the description to give you more information. And remember, what we do here in Central North Carolina isn't gonna always be timing-wise the same for everybody. So please check your local resources for the best information. As always, thanks for watching and happy gardening.